Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. In this video, very excited, I pulled the trigger on a Panoply Phenon L. This is a massive, massive resin 3D printer. It was a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be, even though I've seen a few videos. Of course, uh, Uncle Jesse's, take a look. I've got a link below and some others, but when you actually see this thing, you realize how big it is. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a uh, unboxing, an initial setup, and a print of the test prints, just to sort of get a feel for this machine. I've printed many more things on it so far, and those videos will be coming up in the later weeks, but it is an awesome, awesome printer. It's just, it's just huge, I couldn't believe it. Let's get going unbox this thing and take a look at it. And I want to thank my son for helping me. That is crazy heavy, uh, especially if you're bringing it downstairs. But now it's on the workbench and I get to take off all the plastic and get the styrofoam out of here. Now, most of the styrofoam, or all of it actually, is to protect the inner workings of the printer. But it also does double duty in that it holds some of your little bits and bobs here. So we've got a power cable. We've got a plastic scraper for your vat, some extra screws. We have a scraper, metal scraper, for your build plate and some extra FEP if something happens to your vat. And here is the vat. It is enormous. Now, I knew it was gonna be big, but I just could not believe it. I was just so excited and terrified at how much resin that was gonna hold. Now, here is the build plate. It comes wrapped in plastic. It is enormous, very heavy, angled sides, which I like to let the resin run off. Now, right on the right-hand side, we've got a USB and an Ethernet, so in the future, we'll be able to run that to an Ethernet cable. We also have power and the plug. So the first thing you wanna do before you plug your printer in and turn it on is to check and make sure that the voltage is set correctly to the region you are in. And this can be done by just taking the screws out and switching it to whatever voltage you live in. And while I had this open, I thought I'd point this out. This is a massive heat sink. Look at the size of that aluminum heat sink. It's the ribbed areas here. And there are two massive fans, probably more maybe that I can't see. And it's all trying to keep the LCD screen as cool as possible. So again, here's the build plate. Again, massive, very heavy. It's got the nice angles on it so your resin runs out. It doesn't have uh, resin pooling up there. And here is my El Gumars. Look at the size difference. It is crazy, the amount of area that this printer can handle. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide the build plate onto the arm here and put the screw down to start the leveling process. Now, it's pretty much like leveling any other printer. The first thing we need to do is um, go ahead and move the build plate up a little bit. Of course, you could have done this earlier. And then we're gonna loosen the four screws on the side of the build plate. And then once that happens, the build plate is loose so that when you go ahead and you um, lower your build plate, it can move and adjust itself properly. So you're gonna put a piece of paper underneath here and it, this actually comes with the printer and you're gonna hit home. Now, something I didn't do that caused a, a print to fail is a tip that Uncle Jesse gave me in how to level this properly. So once this comes down, what you should do is you should actually put your hand down, put your, you know, put and put some pressure down on the build plate, like on each side. So if you're screwing these two in, put one hand down and be holding it down or put your hand on the top part where that bolt is, the screw is, and push down and give some pressure because what happens is when you tighten one side, the other side might lift up a little bit and that's what was happening. So 
once I did that, once I re-leveled it by sort of putting gentle pressure, you don't want to, you know, bear down on it too hard, but you're putting gentle pressure so that uh, the paper hardly comes out. Do that while you're screwing those in, and you are going to have a much easier time when you do your first print than I did. And again, that was my fault. That's not Piapoli's fault. That's my fault. So put your hand down when you're screwing that in. Now I'm going to go ahead and move the build plate up so that I can get the bed in. And of course you can move it up as high as you want. I would actually recommend moving it up higher so that you can sort of work pretty easily. I was having a little bit of difficult time getting these screws in because I just didn't lift the bed up high enough or the, the, the build plate high enough. So go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and put in our USB stick and start pouring in the resin. And I use Sierra Tech resin. I love it. Links below. They are affiliate links. And that took an entire jug and just fills this thing up and covers it. Uh, I was excited and terrified at the prospect of what that means. So I just went ahead and found the test print and went ahead and tested it. It's pretty much the same as any type of interface where it'll tell you how long it has, things like that. And it's just gonna go down and immerse itself in there and print I can't remember how many, but there are quite a few of these little cubes that this thing is going to print out. Now, I didn't have a problem with this, even though I didn't level it properly. But when I tried to do a helmet, there was some issues with adherence, uh, adhering to the build plate. So make sure you do that. You hold down when you're leveling it. But again, the size of this is truly amazing. I cannot wait to show you more of the things that I built on this and do an even more in-depth review as we go. Now, as you can see, look at this. So many of these things are on this bed. It was crazy. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you one, of course, when this video is over with. Okay, so there you have it. Very, very exciting. Now, it was very cool to see all those little cubes printed out. Now, I've printed several helmets now and some other larger props. We're going to be looking at videos in the future. But the detail just on these little cubes was incredible. Quite a few. It is just got a massive, massive build plate. So if you want to see more printed out on this massive resin printer, stay tuned because I'm going to have more videos on that. I'm going to be printing some of the files that are over on my website, 3dprintedprops.com. There are a series of Iron Man files I just loaded, including a full suit that's up there. And there's a coupon code below for you guys who are watching this video. And the coupon code is good for actually all products on that site. Some really, really cool files. Uh, I'm really uh, excited about printing them on this Phenon. And of course, if you like the channel, please click like, subscribe, and the little bell. Subscribers help, and I would really appreciate it. There's also links below on the types of resin I use. Those are affiliate links. And when you click on those, we get a little bit of money, and I can buy more resin. And trust me, with this Phenon L, you are going to need a lot of resin. All right, guys, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Have a great day, and take it easy.